hello again hope you're doing great so we are going to continue this tutorial about how to analyze uh, the questionnaire if you haven't uh, uh, watched the first part uh, try to watch it you will find it in the description uh, box below I'm going to uh, resume this uh, course with uh, uh, the coding how we can code uh, or rather recode the, the five point Likert scale into another uh, scale so uh, we are going to go to uh, analyze or rather transform uh, recode into different variables and I'm going to uh, choose uh, this variable that I want to recode that is the main score of the extroversion scale uh, I'm going to reduce it or collapse it a little bit so I'm going to record it into new variable therefore I have to put the name as well as the label of this new variable so basically I have to say for example a uh, uh, high low uh, extrovert for example all right so I'm going to put here the label so there is a difference between the name but the name does not uh, accept special characters space etc whereas the label uh, accepts so so I'm going to put again like this because it doesn't matter I'm going to know it high and uh, low uh, extrovert all right so I'm going to click on change then I'm going to click on old and new values and then I'm going to go to value uh, I'm going to choose the uh, uh, range or before range so this is the old value this one is about the old value and this uh, box here is about the new value so you can choose either value whether it's a system missing its system or user missing then you can choose the range from to or uh, range lowest row value this means that this value that I'm going to put here uh, it's either less uh, less than or equal to this value for example I'm going to go back to uh, the sample of analysis so I want to uh, analyze Lacquer scale so I'm going to choose Lacquer scale here look for the values from research done by uh, uh, Primtel 2010 going to share with you this so from one uh, 81 to 260 it means disagree from 1 uh, to from 2 to uh, 61 to uh, 340 uh, means neutral so I'm going to uh, choose till uh, 2.60 uh, so I'm going to put this value here so this means that people who uh, say agree or sorry dis strongly disagree or disagree fall within this range that is their mean value ranges from 0 to uh, 2.60 uh, so I'm going to uh, here put the name uh, output variable are strings so I'm going to put uh, the name of uh, this value so I'm going to say here uh, low because I'm uh, uh, categorizing them into either high or low ex uh, extrovert depending on whether or, or not they agree with some statements about uh, extroversion so I'm going to say here low extrovert alright so let's move we can say add then uh, I'm going to uh, choose another value so I'm going to go back again to uh, scale so from 261 to 340 means neutral or undecided we don't know whether they are extrovert or high extrovert or low extrovert so they are in between so I'm going to uh, put 261 to 340 so going back to his places so now I'm going to choose range and put 261 all right just uh, block name so 261 and uh, 40 or uh, 340 as I said so I'm going to include it here so it's 340 okay and then uh, put the name which is undecided and decided like this and click ads because I just checked this uh, for some people who may not uh, have this option uh, clickable unless they check this so I cannot check it if I want uh, but I'm going to, to recheck it so 
uh, I'm going to put the value as I said it's uh, undecided and decided for the new value so this means that those people who uh, express that they neither agree nor disagree are undecided then I still have one to reduce the two variable uh, the two values which is about uh, strongly agree and strongly uh, so agree to strongly agree so the values that I'm going to collapse I uh, starting from uh, 3 uh, 41 to 5 so I'm going to go back again to spaces and put 3 uh, 41 3 uh, dot 41 to to uh, 5 so I collapsed I collapsed this variable into high extrovert high extrovert all right so I'm going to click click add all right so I think that uh, the first one was uh, deleted I'm going to go back and uh, put it so I'm going to choose as I said from this means less than or equal to so it's uh, equal to 261 going to click uh, continue uh, which is uh, low extrovert okay and then click add all right uh, so like this I'm going to finish with this uh, and click continue and then click uh, OK so what I'm going to have uh, after the syntax is being converted is that I'm going to have new variable which is about uh, uh, so it's created we can see it in the variable view whether it's high or low extroversion so it depends on the degree of extroversion I can't change this name here and I can go back and change it into numeric because I cho choose string string is used mainly for qualitative variables I'm going to go here and code it again so I have to code it like this so it's already coded so I have to code it like this one low extrovert two and decided and three high extrovert so I'm going to choose this uh, although I uh, I may have confusion between this because I put uh, log extrovert as three so I'm going to modify a little bit so I'm going to choose a so you click on this you can uh, click on these three dots or either click on this and uh, right click uh, on the mouse and click copy and then click here and right click on the mouse then click paste so once you do that I'm, go I'm going to go to transform record into different variables I'm going to uh, mean of extroversion yes then old and new So then I'm going to keep uh, adding the data so through it means decided etc. So I'm going to remove all this and record it again. So we said that uh, uh, through uh, range to 260 uh, uh, means uh, low, uh, low introverts. So I have to put to click this to so that I can modify the name. Click add. Then from two sixty one to uh, so I have to put it here in the range. So from two uh, sixty one to uh, three uh, forty means undecided. means undecided then from 341 to 5 means high extrovert means high extrovert you can uh, put any uh, variable here or name doesn't matter so click add and I click uh, continue then click OK
Okay, so I'm going to go back here. So this is 